real outside agitators. As the days and nights of angry resistance rage on in Ferguson, Missouri, the corporate media embarks on its newest campaign, the proposed banning of outside agitators. It is ironic in the extreme to hear black reporters and black cops and indeed black activists launch a verbal attack against outside agitators when, were it not for such protesters during the hottest days and nights of the civil rights movement, they would not exist. For the phrase, outside agitators, was born in the minds and mouths of white Southern segregationists who decried the arrival of white and black students from the North who worked to registered voters, found freedom schools, and joined the freedom riders on buses to break state segregation laws. Remember the Southern Christian Leadership Conference? That's Martin King's organization. When SCLC staged marches in Alabama, that state's governor, George Wallace, called SCLC, quote, professional agitators with pro-communist affiliations, unquote. Sound familiar? How close to outside agitators? The phrase begs the question, outside of what? The state? America? This country is called the United States of America, founded upon a constitution. Do all people have the right to protest, or just certain residents? Is what happened to Mike Brown a local matter? Or is this really a national issue? It's not the job of media to police protests, pitting good demonstrators against bad ones. Their job is to report, period. Were it not for these protests, let us be frank, the media would have ignored the story. If the media was doing its job, reporting on the vicious state violence launched against young blacks the nation over, perhaps Mike Brown would be alive today. Let us look at the cops, almost 98% of whom are outside and outsiders to Ferguson. They work there, they kill there, but they don't live there. They dwell in neighboring whiter counties and towns. Who are the real outside agitators from Imprisoned Nation? This is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. No, solely ours. They are not reflective of Comcast. It's endorsers nor its supporters. Coming back for part two of what's going on in Ferguson and, and bringing a high, a high power council, a very high power panel this time. And like we do always on the arena, we're going to let the panel introduce themselves. Starting to our right. Abiz, your brother, esteemed servant of Yah, his anointed son, Yeshua. Welcome and thank you for allowing me to be <clears> back. <throat> In the arena, get donned, Ben. Yes, sir. All our elder. Yes, sir. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thrashing among these colored fellas trying to get over. That's all. Good kind of folk. <laughs> just trying to get over. I and once was. <laughs> I, I once had something going on, but now you see where I am. Don't don't think hard of me for community because I'm among. Among these, these people. Ah, Iris him up that a shows bit. Your, that shows your courage. <laughs> that, 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 that's just courageous. And I am the one and only Vincent Cheeks, actor, activist. I let your boy, you know. I mean, I like, man, every week the music come out, he had a new piece to it. You know, when I first met him, he was an activist. Next time, he was an activist. He was an activist. He was an activist. He was You got some announcements well, for his brother, Vince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of announcements. Uh, check out Silly Sunday, the Silly Sunday comedy show at the Mardi Gras Cafe and Lounge, 886 Martin Luther King Drive, hosted by T. Ray Sanders. You might find your boy Vince Cheeks up in there, too. So no check doubt. him out each and every Sunday, Silly Sundays, 886 Martin Luther King Drive. It's in the hood. Holla at him. You already know. Also coming up, we have a month of resistance in the month of October um, due to police brutality mass incarceration of young black men, young black and brown Latino men. And we say no more. So stay tuned for announcements, for marches, announcements for um, councils that we're going to have, panels that we're going to have uh, talking about police brutality in mass incarceration. Uh, so please stay tuned for further announcements with that. And so with that, we're going to get right into the show. Thank y'all, everybody, for being here. 
Um, we're going to give an update on what's going on at Ferguson. Uh, as we all know, it's been two weeks as of yesterday that Michael Brown was shot down in Ferguson, Missouri. Two weeks, um, they're going strong for two weeks, yeah, too. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't even think I've ever seen a riot last that long. Yeah, or a protest. A protest. Protest. Yeah. protest. And, and the good thing, the protest the past couple of days, since Wednesday, since Eric Holder was in um, Ferguson, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Attorney General Eric Holder, uh, the protests have been a lot more calmer. There have been a lot less arrests. Um, but what's the most recent events are as of Thursday, they've told the National Guard to start pulling out. Um, and also as of Thursday, the grand jury – has convened to start hearing evidence mm. about the case. The only problem with that is the current prosecutor, uh, Mr. McCulloch, the DA, the, the oh. DA, he has ties to the entire police community. His mm. mother, sister, cousins are all on the force. His dad was killed by an African American male uh -huh. in the '60s, uh -huh. and so everybody wants him to recuse himself from the uh, case, but he's refused. Governor Nixon has, recu has refused to recuse him. Uh, so that's where we are. The one thing you should know about the grand jury is they've already said it's going to be at least till mid-October before we know anything, mm. if it's going to go, if there's going to be an indictment or not. So, What they gentlemen, do, cool off or something? I don't know what they're that's trying to do. That's a period of time to take. To so with that, paperwork. gentlemen, my question is, where do we go from there with Ferguson, Missouri? Who wants to start? You want my honest opinion. Even yes, sir. Let me, Please let me clarify my position. Even though uh, I'm a licensed ordained minister of Baptist Church, but I was not always, you know, nonviolent. Okay. So I got with Dr. King and I became, um, shall I say, a person who was aware. But it took getting my, my brother got killed. That's when my whole attitude changed. And what I'm seeing now in Ferguson is one thing that I'm happy about. Some of the people that I associate with saying that they think it's wrong, but I said this. If the radicals had not got involved, mm -hmm. it'd have never gone nowhere because nonviolence in our time in '63, it was it. It would work. Right. But it took those radical people, wherever they came from, to keep the smoke going. When others said, "Well, it ain't gonna," they saying, "Look, look, let's keep on pushing this. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on doing it. Let's don't stop now." Mm -hmm. So what I heard Tuesday from one of our mayors, I'm not gonna call his name. Okay. He's concerned now. Will it trickle down? And they're saying if a decision doesn't come from the grand jury soon, mm -hmm. looking at 5,000 people who, and I was shocked to no end, was out there in the cab County. That's right. I was surprised. That's right. And downtown. I, yeah, yeah, right downtown. I was yeah. totally surprised to see that were 5,000 people down there supporting. What surprised you about it? First of all, you're in the cab County. Okay. That's number one. Well, number two, yeah. we're so spaced. I live there. Mm -hmm. We're so spaced. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'm not from the, I'm not from Atlanta. I'm mm -hmm. not from I'm from Alabama. Okay. Well, I don't believe in getting involved. Mm -hmm. I got my house note, and I'm happy. This is my first house from the farm. Mm -hmm. I don't get involved. I go might go vote if you ask me, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't want to get involved. But when I was surprised to see the type of response. And it was all positive. Okay, that's, that's why good. I was shocked. That's good. That's why I was shocked. That's why you, brother Gideon. Yes, sir. Were you surprised? You know, our people have dealing. We're dealing with a visceral response to an emotional mm -hmm. issue based on preponderance of evidence that has cost a young man his life in the face of the historical perspective of death under these killers that mm -hmm. you know y'all vote for. <laughs> and when we look at the anatomy of a killer, <laughs> you know, the killer has a profile and he has a history mm -hmm. that we can look at. In Missouri, in uh, Ferguson, I believe there are concerted efforts to keep the media and the political agenda of American capitalism alive in the radical protest. Even though what you saw after Eric Holder's uh, uh, coming there was the police chief and uh, the, their surrogate brother, who they said was Captain Over, leading the peaceful march. Right. See, protest has gotten us nothing. Right. But airtime. <laughs> right. Political right. pundits being able to talk a lot. <clears throat> And then we burn up a lot of stuff. You know, exactly. And they claim we've made some change, 
but everything continues. We now we've had this year after year. Now we have martial law in Ferguson, Missouri. Yeah, exactly. And Detroit but, now is under martial law, and they have. When I say martial law, they are turning off water mm -hmm. where people need water. It's a right. They have the people voted for a mayor, and they gave them a city manager. Mm -hmm. So what we see in America is happening is a total reconstruction. We see. Uh, the King Alfred plan, mm -hmm. Rex 84, Google these concepts from the government. That's why they talk about the militarization of the police mm -hmm. force. And in, in response to emergency events, they have plans that have been on the book for 50 years on how to deal with us. No, no, no follow through. I'm going to tell you, no follow through. This is one of the things that I understand what you're saying, especially about the whole political process. But the very fact that Africans here in America have no follow through on a lot of the uh, things. One, to go back to tell you, let me tell you why I wasn't surprised to see 5,000 people converge and one, you know, converge and come together in one spot mm -hmm. and, and, and um, a mass outcry against the injustice. One, Dr. King said, mm -hmm. with his nonviolent self, right. Right, even said that rioting is the voice of the voiceless. Hmm. So that what they what ends up happening with a lot of things like with Mike, they make Michael Brown an isolated incident. When you get all of those people coming together, they're not just speaking specifically about Michael Brown. Thank you. They're speaking in general about the treatment of African people here in America, and we're frustrated and we're fed up. Thank you. But we've had, when we went through that integrationist period and the revolutionary period, the period of uh, what we call Kujakalil self-determination, us as African people doing for ourselves and providing for ourselves, mm -hmm. this is what made the Panthers dangerous. Right. You know what I'm saying? When Huey came up, Huey showed, when the Panthers in the, uh, under that development showed the system that we didn't need the system. Mm -hmm. They galvanized support from their own community. They went and collected food from the community and mm -hmm. distributed it to the community. Mm -hmm. Not just free the people, bust the prison programs, mm -hmm. uh, safe uh, seniors against fearful environment. In fact, a lot of people don't even know the Panthers came up with the WIC program. Mm. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do okay. know. I do know. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Teach. So what ends up happening is the government, they show us to where they came against the Panthers with the guns and stuff like that. The first right. way they came to was undermine their support base, which was the African community, right. by offering the same programs. And then you got free lunch in school. Right, right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? They came up with the WIC program. So they, they undercut made it them. Eat. They undercut it. Yeah. And then once they yeah. undercut them, once you undercut them, and you take that support base, you can go in and physically kill them. Right. But and this is what's happening, and I'm going to be brief and come straight right, to you, right, Reverend. Good, good, Dr. Good. Josh. Then they can physically kill them. And this is what's happening to our young man, young men. Right. They're demonizing them, mm -hmm. dehumanizing mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. thugging them out. Mm -hmm. Right. You had somebody say, look, his pants down. After the man is dead, mm. we've lost our sense of humanity. Somebody's worried about right. his ass showing. Right. When he's been his shot brain, in the head. His brain is laying his brain in the street. And been know, left in the street for left four, in the street hours, like four hours. Four hours. Right. And you actually have African people, people of African descent. I don't even I hate to call them African, but you got to. Mm -hmm. but I'm going to say Negroes. Mm -hmm. You have these Negroes, these African Americans, mm -hmm. that actually jump on that damn bandwagon mm -hmm. and start to feel that young men deserve this and not take the responsibility. And my mouth was close to my ears as being people who had given these men a constructive way mm. to do it. Yeah, everybody knows right. how to build. Mm, I right. mean, destroy. Mm. Right. They're going to know how to run through there and tear up that city. Mm. Right. But how we, and especially our elders and me off in that thing, taught them how to build. Mm. And this is what you have with the, and this is what they scared of the trickle down effect. Black folks, black folk, Africans and Americans are frustrated. Mm. We are tired. And last but not Fed least. Fed up. And last but not least, I'm not a reformist. You know I'm a revolutionary, but I say this, because I'm questioning. If Ferguson is 85, 90% African, I don't know the 60, 60 demographic. 60, 60, 60, 67%. 67%. Yeah, 67 67%. African. Mm -hmm. Why you still have racist European police representatives? Because they don't get involved in politics. Right. What do they do? No, no, no. No, they've already stated that Ferguson being that they have a 67% African American population, mm -hmm. they had a 12% voter turnout. 12%? Okay. But let me say this. They waiting on y'all show to come save me. Well, that's right. That's true now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute now. Wow. Wow. I, 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 well, I, I just I, saw I, in the hold people's hold agenda. Let Dr. Crusher speak. Sit back. Yeah, let get a man from respect. Let's the civil rights leader. The Black Fountains. Let's go back for a moment. Okay. Something I got to help you a little bit on. The Panthers came out with many programs I agree with. I'm serious. If you dealt drug in your community, 
Something bad happened to you. Because right. Farrakhan tried to adopt that same program, and the federal government got in, the city government and the state said, no, we put you in jail. <clears throat> now, they would, they would break your thing. <laughs> if you disrespected your wife, they break your thing. Mm -hmm. But Huey Newton, I mem remember when he fleeted and went away, mm -hmm. and he came on the Phil Donahue television show, and Phil told him, say, you know you're going to get killed, don't you? Mm -hmm. He said, I know, but I had to come back home. But the person who took the payoff was Bobby Seale. They paid him $50,000 to run for mayor, mayor of, of the city of, am I right or wrong? Yes, mm. Teach. And mm. then what he said was, he had said, I wouldn't take a dime. Mm. You see, the trickle down dollar didn't just start there. It started in Africa right. and it has not stopped. Some people get mad when I said no. You know, I joined the click to figure out how the click work. <laughs> now that right. I figure out how the click work, I'm really upset when I see where Cloretta's nephew told me something was interesting. He and I were standing in front of Ebenezer Church, and he says to me, he said, Doc, he said, I came to become pastor of that church. And I guess if he had not gotten angry, he wouldn't have said the thing he said to me. He said, Jesse, he said, the truth going to come out about Jesse and my uncle. Mm -hmm. He said, the real truth going to come out. Mm -hmm. And I said, what you mean? He said, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but now, if you look around at the King's kids, King's speech was, he said this. He said, don't judge my kids on the color of their skin. Right. Mm -hmm. Judge them on the content of their character. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How has their character been? Yeah. Oh, man. It's what been makes you but... think you can go to Ferguson mm -hmm. and stand up there and tell those people, Right. I don't think you all should do it. And from what I've got, the rumor I got it from reliable. So they said, well, you go back to Georgia where you belong. <laughs> you ain't got nothing here. Mm -hmm. This is the same boy. And I wish somebody go by and tell him I said so. Mm -hmm. Here's the same boy, his third, Martin Luther King's third son, mm -hmm. who ran for the commissioner of Fulton County, mm -hmm. got the position, mm -hmm. and then took a payoff. Mm. And then when they voted him out, he went home and cried to his mama. She put him <laughs> as president of SCLC. <laughs> the boy didn't know the back of his hand. Right. Mm -hmm. So now I remember that we don't have any leaders who, who can raise up because I own you. Right. I own you. Mm -hmm. right. General Motors, I own you. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola Company, mm -hmm. I own you. Mm -hmm. What do they now and you look at mm -hmm. we got one right now and he know I don't like him. Mm -hmm. He know I don't. Mm -hmm. And he don't want to jump me because I make sure he go to jail. <laughs> Tyrone Brooks. Mm -hmm. How much money did he flim flam the, the poor people out of? Mm -hmm. He had school programs, school the whole nine yards. I got yeah. it in black and white. So if you sue me, I hope yeah. you know, I got it in black and Same white. On I you. So I ask you this though, Doc. I want to ask you this. Come on. Are they able to get away with this stuff because of our of our lack of participation in politics? Because I'm not holding them accountable and yes. responsible. Yes, I answer that right away. Yes. I can get away with it. As long as I know if I come by, how you doing? You know, you voted mm -hmm. for me and I really appreciate yeah. it. That guy dead. All I do is come out pat you on the hand just like a, if I'm a rap star I come through the community you can be raising five million dollars worth of hell mm -hmm. just like when Jose I'll never forget one time Jose Williams <laughs> he was leading a demonstration from Perry Holmes and when I said tearing up Perry Holmes they were paying, tearing up Perry Holmes mm -hmm. they said go get Jose mm -hmm. and tell Jose to lead him from now imagine for a moment mm -hmm. lead him from Perry Holmes to mm -hmm. downtown to City Hall mm. by the time by the time they got to sit tired as milk. They were too tired, these people. <laughs> <laughs> they were too tired. I was thirsty. Black power. <laughs> <laughs> no strategy. I know. Okay, okay, let's go to you, man. Let's, let's hit, hit, hit Brother Gideon, man. Thank well, you. Well, I want to pose a question. It, it, I guess it pertains to the, uh, a coin of, of the same side. It's pertaining to the police department because you mentioned the militarization. Right, and I'm going to read a statement about that. But I want to talk about the militarization, and I want to talk about what can be done about the current police state as far as police brutality and examining these body cameras that everybody has been talking yeah. about. Um, but in regards to the militarization of the police force, that's due to a, a Department of Defense program uh, called the Excess Prop Property Program or the 1033 program which is authorized under federal law and managed through the Defense Logistics Agency Law Enforcement Support Office. In Virginia, the 1033 program provides surplus DOD military equipment to state and local civilian law enforcement <clears throat> agencies for use in counter-narcotics and counter-terrorism operations and to enhance officer safety. Now, 
This surplus material includes military aircraft, mm. tanks. This is for police? For police. Mm -hmm. Over over 90,000 assault rifles yeah. have been handed out. Body armor. Now, the tanks, um, a tank brand, made brand new generally costs $700,000. Mm. The police department can buy it at a discount. Of three thousand dollars. Mm. So now they're getting they have all this money for all this militarization equipment, but as in the Mike Brown case in Ferguson, they didn't even have dash cams. The officer right. didn't even have a dash cam right. in this car, which right. would have cost six thousand dollars, they said to install. But you got a tank. Right. Mm. But you got this tank, these M rap machines, mm. which I had never heard of M rap until the Ferguson situation, but mm -hmm. apparently it's a mine resistant mm -hmm. ambush vehicle, mm -hmm. something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Now, in regards to the protests, even to the radicals that may or may not be causing trouble, how are we supposed to stand up to something of this mic? Because I had a young gen a young dude, he was 22 years old, we were watching the, the other night, and he was like, man. Man, we sick of this, man. They just need to take it to him. Yeah. And I looked at him, and I looked back at the TV, and I'm looking at the tanks and the assault rifles, and, and I see us with the bottles I'm, I'm, and I'm maybe you. one or two Mazel Tov cocktails, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it reminded, it did remind me of the Israeli-Palestine exactly. conflict mm -hmm. of how they're basically fighting the Israeli military mm -hmm. with sticks and bottles. Rock. And it Rock. was the same thing Rock. in the Ferguson. So what, what do we do about that, I'm gentlemen? A, well, now, I'm a, Go ahead. Because I'm, I'm the radical. Okay, let's go, radical. You know, I'll be radical today. Uh, I admire their spunk. I admire their gumption. I admire their frustration. Right. And they're being fed up. One of the things that it reminds me of Dr. King. And a lot of people don't like Dr. King. I didn't necessarily. I'm not nonviolent. I'm not going to turn the other cheek person. Right. None of that. But I am a strategist. <clears throat> and one of the brilliant things, I don't like Gandhi. His race is Indian butt naked sheep wearing butt. I don't like that bald headed joker. Tell us how you really feel, bro. Thank you, brother. So, but what I do admire about Dr. King was if he didn't do anything, he showed the world that Bull Connors and the rest of these Ooh. white boys were savages. That's a powerful name right there, that, Bull Connors. That non violent mm -hmm. stance showed the world when the TV was on and you seen black folks marching mm -hmm. and not doing anything, you seen mm -hmm. we, women having dogs mm -hmm. unleashed on them. Mm -hmm. You seen Shotgun. pound of water holes mm -hmm. knocking them over. Mm -hmm. Right. It showed the world who the true culprit mm -hmm. was. It showed the world who the true devil was. Come on. It showed the world who were really trying to uh, uh, suppress a people you and annihilate a people. Yes, Our failure became is we didn't follow the lines of Malcolm saying, you know, and I don't knock Dr. King, hindsight is twenty twenty. I can always look back and say he should have done Right, 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 right. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the failure became when we kept it a civil rights issue. Mm -hmm. It allowed the federal government to deal with our problems. Right. Malcolm, with this same type of atrocities going on, mm -hmm. went and said, you see what they're doing? Use Dr. King. Mm -hmm. That's an example. Look what they're doing to King now. They ain't going to be like that. <laughs> but you see what they're doing? Our issue is human rights. The same right. thing they're doing to these brothers in Selma and the same thing they're doing in South Africa. Right. Mm -hmm. He said it is hypocritical mm -hmm. for you to condemn apartheid and at the same time, turn around and practice segregation. Mm, right. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he brought, and this is what they had one of them agents from the State Department said, look, they sent the memo out. And I challenge anyone to look it up. Mm -hmm. They said, Malcolm, they said, Malcolm is setting us back in a tour of a few days tour that it took us years to build. Mm -hmm. Right. The relationships, years to build in Africa. They said, Malcolm is setting us back. Mm -hmm. So I will admire that tactic. So what happens is. I'm not telling nobody throw their life out there or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But people get frustrated. If people are going to go tear up right. and people are going to just revolt, then where are our activists? Where are our black leaderships that says, you know, we're not only African and American leadership, we're human rights activists and the atrocity that's taking place in Ferguson mm -hmm. by this uh, brother mm -hmm. that was trained by the Israelis mm -hmm. right. is the same atrocity that's taking place in Palestine. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it makes it a world of international human rights violation. Mm -hmm. And we want reparations based on that fact, mm -hmm. and we want some stuff, and we want some stuff here <laughs> based on the fact that our human rights are being violated. Preach, you, bro. you, you, you. Let me help you a little bit. Now, can, Doc, I need to cut you off. Get in, Ben Wade. Get in, Ben Wade. Let brother get in. Step in. Well, well, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm about to drop a ham off in him. Oh Lord. No, I don't actually need the gavel. It's a spiritual hammer that will be dropped.
And I'm gonna drop it in your lap, brother Yanger, Uh-oh. because these young men have already been this hammer been dropped on them. Mm-hmm. And it's a question. Okay. This question is: What is the legal designation for our people? You're nationalist, mm-hmm. and that term denotes nationality or derivative of where nation you come Correct. from. Correct. What is the legal American definition, racial definition? For us, yourself, myself, in this country. Legal racial definition. You know what? Do they have a legal racial definition? Yeah. Yes, yeah. they do. You know what I'm Are they calling us African American now? Uh-uh. No, no. no. That's Jetson bro. No. That Jetson bro. That. Well, I mean, I reflect back to your history now. Like I said, I'm going to drop oh, a hammer on you. Go back to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. That was the 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 legal one. That's written on the book. It's on the book. It is colored. Color. Okay. Yeah. Because they had in posted in restaurants and on the water fountains all across this country, whites and colors. And colors. That term colored. See, where we look at the political process and the people in the political arena, they have not targeted the true essence of how we derive human rights. Mm. First of all, you have to be determined what type of human you are. Mm. As a nationalist, we understand that nationhood is important for order and to develop a direction for our people. As a Hebrew, I understand the leadership is a natural one, but it comes from a spiritual source. So when we look with that very point alone, that you're as a leader in the Panther movement and a historian for our people, and all across this country, that very concept is not known. So rather than us fighting for political parity in a corrupt system where we'll never receive parity because it's the system is designed to keep us down, right. rather we sh- our leadership should be fighting for understanding our identity. Truly, we say that we need to know our identity and our children need to know it. But the legal designation uh, isn't even dealt with I'm, I'm a, appropriately. I'm going to tell you, that's that, to me, that sounds like that Morris stuff. I don't care what they call you. It's what you answer. They call to. you nigger, colored, Negro, right. African American. They Negro call you what they want to call you. The only thing they understand is economic, political, social, cultural power. Now we talk we about what make... you're going to teach your children. Exactly. Before so, you get to them, training starts I, at how at the, at house, the house, house, right? With your children. Well, you, you, we can call ourselves men. Ma- I think that one of the biggest things we do, we, we're always arguing over semantics. I know I got some Moorish brothers, and they get. And I say, Black Panther brother, why you call yourself black? You're from, <laughs> you're from Morocco. <laughs> nigga, I said they gonna round all y'all Negroes up, send y'all ass to Morocco, then y'all be crying for a Big Mac, McDonald's, and all that good stuff. <laughs> so ain't nobody all of that. What I'm telling them is that the same way that those aren't the real, we say that they aren't the real Jewish people, right? Uh, the ones that are there, the, the they European are not. Jews. Yes. You know what makes right. them the real Jewish people? They got power and money. Them guns. Power yeah. and money. Money. Militarization. But Political it's an backup. image. It's an image. It, 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 so we can call them. We can sit around. We're the most uh, talking as people in the world. We can sit around. But when they're backed up with the law that they have, lobbyists and stuff that they have, Put uh, so much political clout. If you say Jewish, you get hit with an anti-Semitic <laughs> tag. But see, this is the point. When did it change legally? See, it never has. It, has. Oh, it, it never it has did. Not it's, right. It's, it's, never it's not going right. to. For, for us, it's not going to change legally because why? Because that's why I went to court. Be- it can change. But I'm going to tell but you. But then now, because it's, it's so powerful in liberating us, as Dr. Thrasher can tell you, even when I went and challenged the fraudulent designation called? of Negro on my birth certificate and said, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, they said, okay. Because the law changed that year when the yeah. creator sent me to do it. They said, okay, we'll let you call yourself, call yourself that, that, but we ain't going to recognize let me say you. That. Even if they let you when call you yourself know. that, when they said, okay, you're no longer Negro, we call you Hebrew. It's like, did your taxes go down? I don't pay taxes. <laughs> did you get something free? <laughs> I don't pay them. Did something really <laughs> change for and you? And, and, on I, and the reason I say I don't pay them. only thing that changed was it was hard for them to pronounce your name. You went from John <laughs> to get, get, get It's bigger get than that. You know what I'm saying? These men and tools. But so, you go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Get you get you get the roll, and you know I need to get him a, a pineapple and then. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to rattle too, but he I'll talk me. That's, that's a, the, the All right, look, you, you uh, mentioned one thing <laughs> that 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 I wish you had gone all the way with it. Well, okay, it let's go. Listen carefully. 
When Martin Luther King was in Alabama, he cried because of the beating that we had taken. I said, we in 63, I was there. Okay. And what he said was, we need a way of showing America what they really look like. Mm. He said, we need a way to show America how dogmatic they are. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, we need a way of showing them how foul and how vicious mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. against the people who just wanted to vote at the time. Mm. Right. So what he said was, let's invite the media. Mm -hmm. At the time of the movement, let's invite the media. Mm -hmm. When the media came in, he said, now look. That's when Kennedy said, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what is we Look at those savages. Yeah, what? Yeah. Damn. Kennedy said, I can't believe that we're like that. King said, Look at yeah, you. Yeah, right. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Now, when King go and introduced the Civil Rights Bill, that was a wall and tug at, 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 Civil, at, at the uh, SCLC office. They wanted to go another way. Mm -hmm. Lyndon B. Johnson, no, we can't do it this way. Mm -hmm. Let's do it this way. But. When you ask the question, have we over overcome, the answer is no. Yes, sir. And you can tell the herd is on when you look at your school teachers now, when they rise up and say, you are a bad child and I want to talk to your parents, the principal come in and say, do you want your contract renewed? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I got a house right. note. I got mm. a car mm. note. Mm. I got mm. all of these things I've gone to school to acquire, mm -hmm. and now I can't say anything. Right. I've when I said that. Beverly mm -hmm. would never go to prison, everybody cussing me out. I'm saying Beverly not going to jail. Beverly, Harvard. Beverly, Beverly was brought here to do by any means necessary. School board superintendent. Oh, you talking about Beverly Hall? You better be Beverly Hall. Beverly yeah. Hall. I call yeah. her Beverly because she's so sweet. I uh, like her. Darth Vader herself. It. You better believe it. And what she <laughs> said was, when they brought her in and said, "You on bond," she was in Jamaica. Mm. They said, "We want you. We want you to come back to America, mm -hmm. and put up some money for your resident for your bond money." Mm -hmm. She said um, she had two attorneys to meet her at the airport. Mm. Beverly went down and posted her bond of two hundred fifty thousand mm. dollars. She said, "Look in the chump change and give it to him." Oh, and she went okay. on back where she was going. Mm. Now, should those teachers be prosecuted? I said no, because if it had been just plain white kids, right. the white mm -hmm. teachers made the change the schools. Mm -hmm. You'd have heard nothing. 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 They've been doing that. Have, but that's how they do it. The wait, teachers, wait, wait, should be the, the teachers were a victim of the system. Exactly. The same no, way no, Mike no, Brown no, was a victim were, of the system. No, but no, no, but no, no, what no, I say that about wait. the teachers. No, 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 they wasn't. He's a no, teacher now. He's from, I, I worked I, in Atlanta Public School System. Okay, go ahead. He's a retired teacher. No, they wasn't. Here's where they became a victim. You were one, you were one. I'm the FBI and the GBI. I'm the former... Attorney General mm, of Georgia. Mm, mm, mm. If you don't tell, we're going to put you in jail. Yes. Okay. I've never been in jail. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't tell, I'm going to put you in jail. Uh, we're going to take your license to teach. Mm. Now I'm committing terroristic threats against you. That's right. right. That's right. right. So some of the teachers said, I I'll tell. Mm. I won't lose my license. No, you will not. Mm -hmm. They lied to them. So they had anyway. working against each other. Mm -hmm. And when it was over, they discovered what they've done. They said, I didn't mean to do it that way. Right. But the thing of it is, the teachers became victims of their own insecurity. So lay down with dogs to get up with fleas. No, no, that's, no, that's it. true. That's it. But I'm trusting the system. I'm thinking because right. I'm educated. Right. But I'm trusting the system. Right. The system turned around now and say, we're going to prosecute you. That's but right. But you got a jury saying, mm. what the heck am I going to try these people under? Exactly. Uh, we'll come Rico. Next, we'll wait six <laughs> I'm months. like, that's conspiracy <laughs> act. Oh, Rico you Rico you feel like that? That? Vince, you said you felt like the teacher was there. And you being a, a teacher that have worked in a public school, what did you mean by that? Well, the, the reason I said the teachers were, were victims is because no child left behind. On the bush. Under... You know but that Bush boy. Mm. <laughs> that puts so much pressure sure. on schools mm -hmm. and on teachers to perform. Mm -hmm. And just like you said a few minutes ago, the principals come to you. Your class is underperforming. Mm -hmm. If you, this is how they put, put it, they don't directly tell you to cheat. Mm -hmm. If you don't do what you need to do, to improve your scores, That's it. <laughs> you're gonna lose your job. That's and it. so they put this subtle vice grip mm. on you to where you like, man, I really, if I don't, and then if you act like 
you want to go against the grain. Right. Oh, you get blackballed. That's right. You get but blacklisted see, quick. I mean, you know, and That's I might right. get blacklisted right, right, right now. I, I, I never thought off. about all that. I'm going to tell you, my heart, went out, my heart went out to the children. Yes. Of, of course. course. The of children course. were the biggest you know victims of course. That's why I quit. You know, to that's me, that's that old, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's that old profit over people, that capitalist mentality. Oh, Lord, exactly. I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to lose exactly. my job. So the hell he can't read. Right. I'm going to go on The hell he's going to get out here with a diploma and be sticking every damn mouth. Right, right. Because he can't read and struggle. Goes back you know, to the system. The this, they act booty kicked. Yeah. The system. No, they don't. The they system. don't think they need they were helping kicked. them. They were helping them. They were helping them. How was changing but now, the test scores helping them? I ask you, the question Most I ask to you yes, and you. Okay. If I commit an act against you and it caused you to lose something, you can sue me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If those kids was damaged by any means. Why nobody never leveled a suit against because the state? We don't know that. We know, how, we're no, not no, going to no. know the you fact can't that prove that nobody was. We can't prove it until years exactly later. That's exactly right. Exactly. So I mean, if you, if you so who was hurt? The kids. How? Because we're not. This. This what is. Kids I'm gonna tell you hurt? something, Doc. Let me say. Let me say Come this. On, talk let me tell you. Say, say this. Because you and I are too old to be from this microwave age. I'm not from. I call this. I'm on the You remember? You remember? You remember when we was coming up? You were like. Mama, when dinner ready? It's ready when it's ready. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm cooking. It'd be hours for you. Stomach yeah. Yeah. Microwave age. These nah, kids. It's two minutes. Bing. Yeah. Got a whole meal. That yeah. killer stuff. We did. So we can't look for instantaneous answers right now. Right. We're not gonna know the effects of these children into maybe four or five kids get passed through these schools. We won't know maybe to high school. Where are they Maybe now? We got crack. We got crack. We got crack. We got crack. Anyway. Uh, right. It is. I, the plan is not to succeed. Thank you. It, Thank you. Go ahead. I'm going to listen to the Please. teacher. Oh, <laughs> listen, listen carefully. When I started school last year studying social psychology, one of the things I got, one of the books about Bush was saying no kid left behind, and I started looking at it. Listen carefully. Here you put a kid in this classroom. He's a slow learner. Mm -hmm. You got another kid who is bipolar. Mm -hmm. You got another kid who's real is real aggressive and smart. Uh -huh. What chance does those kids have? This kid is gonna excel. Yeah. These kids are not gonna make it. But when you say, well then, why don't you set up a school, a classroom, and and weave them out? Not to, to embarrass them, right? But weave them out, uh -huh. saying if this kid is slow, I got this teacher to teach that. Uh -huh. When I was in Valdosta fighting for a kid uh -huh. that was put out of school. Because he was bipolar. Mm -hmm. The lie came down that this boy was so rebellious, they had to put him in juvenile jail at the age of eight years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they do. So doing now, that. what you got here is a bunch of crock. The teacher doing the best that they can do. And the sad part of it is, there is a process that's being put together right now that white kids excel and black kids don't succeed. Right, yeah. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. for what reason? The man told Martin Luther King in Alabama, mm -hmm. in the city hall, he said, Dr. King, why don't you go back to the poor pit and preach and leave this alone? Mm -hmm. That was about the bus thing then. Right. King ignored him. He said it again. He was a preacher. He said it again to King. He said, why don't you go back to Atlanta and preach and leave this alone? He said, you know what going to happen if the black boys start integrating with the white girls. Mm -hmm. You know what's going to happen. Don't be a fool and believe that they don't know what the deal is long before you, you, and me. Mm -hmm. They already know. Right. They know for a fact that their race existence is limited. But see, I'm a, mm -hmm. uh, let me jump in here. They know that. Very valid. They fight Very valid. Mm -hmm. They know that. That's why they're not worried about. Their, well, let me tell you about white supremacy. White supremacy is not based on skin complexion, but it is an ideology. Okay. It's a philosophy. Black people can practice white supremacy. Exactly. Asian people can practice white supremacy. So what they have done now, when they integrated, the bus boycotts and all of that was good. But what it did, this white man woke up and he said, it ain't so much we love you. We're going to hold hands and sing kumbaya in this piece. What it is, nigga pennies matter. Right. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that. We're starting to find out nigga pennies add up. Green the only color that matter, baby. That's the only thing that matter. Yeah. So the whole integration was to get nigger pennies, but when we integrated, we lost self-sufficiency and we lost an identity. Mm -hmm. Right. We started taking that moral and ethics and judging ourselves by it. Right. Exactly. It used to be a time coming to black neighborhood, we didn't care if daddy worked on the trash truck. Daddy came home. Yeah. Right. Daddy whooped, spanked that tail. Yeah. Now if daddy don't help make a hundred thousand dollars a year, have a Brooks brother suit on, you ain't nice. the latest thing. You ain't no real man. Yeah. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. All that old stuff I said. That's, the spell, that's the spell of capitalism. Exactly, because we have lost 
our sense of African identity right. through this integration thing. One of the things that the New Black Panther Party advocates in our non-local objective is control of our education. Right. The reason they can get away with this is because we have stopped flooding the school boards. We have stopped making the curriculum that addresses our people in our neighborhoods. Now they come tell us, your child is acting. He's too much. He need Ritalin. When he's come up, wasn't no Ritalin. You know what it's called? A belt? <laughs> That's because we Ritalin. integrated. Right not great. We integrated okay, into you, the burning house. Into the burning brother. house. Yeah. So what we have to do, one of the things we have to do is like our dear brother Gideon was saying, is absolutely right. Our identity. But now our identity is more than just what we call, so we're going to call ourselves a Kibalons, Kimites, Kushites, Hushites, Hittites, <laughs> all the ites in the world. But the identity comes in when we look up nationality. Nationality says people from the same nation are people who have shared the same common experience right. mm -hmm. that forms another culture. Mm -hmm. The African here in America, by the experience of the transatlantic slave trade, has become a nation within itself. Okay. So we have to go back to building the morals and ethics that defied us as that nation. Right. And once we go back to building those moral and ethics, then we can separate, you know what I'm saying, first economically. We'll be able to separate right. first economically. Then once we can do it economically, politically, we can start doing it socially. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't need them for now. Our biggest trick has been Black Wall Street, baby. Let's take it, take, take it back to Black Wall Street. Take it back from there. You sound like Jesse. Well, this is the issue. You sound just like Jesse and it is, this Street. is where uh, divine intervention is going to come in, and those who don't deal with the bi uh, biblical story may not agree or understand, but they don't want us to leave. Okay. They can't operate without us. Right. They're, the misconception is that we are the weight, the baggage, we are the ones that, when in reality, it's always been them. Right. Oh, See, right. Flip my fun house memory. <laughs> like they it so it's a, it, it's a psychological ploy that they played on us in order to keep us divided and diminish our power. And if we have a phone call, go ahead and bring it in. So and right, call we Challenge me, watch. Welcome to the arena. Can we, uh, what's your question, comment? Yes, I was trying to call to uh, kind of pass on a comment. Okay. And my comment to you guys, I understand that you all are probably upset and not quite uh, well, happy about what's going on around us. Right. But the idea is that uh, where are we when it comes to backdoor conference? Backdoor I mean, what? this is what... Backdoor conference. Well, how, how do we, how do we sit as a people to backdoor, sit in the in the backdoor? Like most, I worked in Cleveland, Ohio, as a leader for over five thousand people. Home I'm from Cleveland when I, too. When I when I when I when I negotiated contracts for those five thousand people, the Jew lawyers that I would top Jew lawyers there in Cleveland had a conference all the time before they met with me and my team. So what are, what are we going to do about meeting with our people and, and bring our focus to the table? This is what I'm looking for. Mm. This is the type of group of people that I'm looking for. How do we sit down and bring our community to the table? You can't. And focus on that I back door that. and then bring it out. Well, now, oh. before Doc says you can't, I'm going to say you can. Wait, and wait, and wait, let, let me let Doc go. Wait, 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 I'm going to tell you why I said, why I made the word you can't. This was about. Obama said you can. Let me finish. I'll tell you what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. We had a meeting from every bright person, black person in this country. And we had two or three guys from South Africa. Because then we would have to go to the African court. To settle this issue. Okay. We was going to sue for respiration, and that was no doubt about it. Every guy came in. We had a, a professor from Harvard. Mm -hmm. We had professors from Minnesota. Uh, you name it, they were there, lawyers. Everybody was at that table down on Auburn Avenue. When we got down and sit down at the table and say, let's come up with one thing that we want. Within 15 to 20 minutes, it was a big argument. Well, I think it's to give us the money. I was with the money all the time. Right. I didn't want them to, well, what I think should do, they should put it in the school. We're talking respiration. Right. We're talking about putting it in the school. When it was over, everybody was fighting. Everybody was fighting over whatever. 
They Too many letter, Indians. Not enough go. chiefs. There you go. And then when it end up, Clinton got on television and apologized for sla enslaving black people in America. Mm -hmm. And he said, if we had to pay, we would go bankrupt. My statement was, bankrupt the sucker, but give me the money. Right. Now, I'm but like, what happened, bankrupt. you know what ended up happening? We end up discovering, no matter what you come up with, no matter how you come up with it, no matter how you work it, white boy gonna always have somebody on that, on, yeah, on that board. You, I agree. You got what I'm saying to I you? I agree with That's you. That's why I use the word, I can't. Unless and you catch that child coming out of that mother's womb and can shape and mold his mind like I got a little kid that's in foster care. He comes to my house mm -hmm. now. I'm always shaping and molding his mind to think one way, not violently, to think that you can. I said, use your head. He said, well, I said, think. Always think. If it's a situation, I said, never give up. So when we talk about we, what we can do, even Elijah Muhammad came with the thing. Let's take our money and put it in our own community. That can that that was a a, a brilliant idea, right? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. No. Yes. No. Where are the black businesses? That's that's what I'm telling you. They destroy our people, and I'm gonna let this brother go. When we went I, around, let me finish now. Oh, I'm, yes, gonna, I'm gonna let you have yes, it. Yes, I'm sir. gonna let you have yes, it. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get it. When Martin Luther King, I don't agree when, with that. We can't do anything. What you looking at? <laughs> I'm listening. When Martin Luther King was killed that very same night, yes, sir. All of the Black Panthers got together on Hunter Street and Ashby. Mm -hmm. And we went through the community telling the Jews that you all got to leave. Leave our community. You're sucking us dry. Right there at the corner of West Lake and East Lake and Hunter Street. I mean, at Simpson. This guy was a Jewish guy. I felt so bad for him. He showed me his numbers that he got while he was in a concentration. Well, show them wait just a moment. Wait just a moment. <laughs> I understood that. But I said, yeah. I told him in a nice way. I understand your scars, I understand your number, but if I were you, I would leave. Right. But here's what he did. He said, we'll leave. They turn right around and say, Gillian, uh, you tell them this is your store and I want you to run it. Exactly. Like you oh, and we would dictate oh, the money. They pulled the okie doke. You better yeah, believe it. it. So wow. when we think we'll, when we work so bad about the way we do things, it's the same thing is going to happen in that northern city where they're raising the hell now. You know right. what's going to happen? We're going to get excited. Right. Haldeman came, we quiet it down. We're going to get excited if a can of poke and bean cross the table. <laughs> We're going to get excited. We're going to get excited. We ain't that simple, are we? Yeah. Come on, Yes, man. we I mean, are. I'm, I'm, Lord, I mean, you know why I'm saying that? Because when I lived in a high rise, we need I understand what you're saying. When I lived in a highway, because the doctor took me out, took me out of my house because I had a broken neck, and he said I'd never be able to do nothing for myself. And I never forget this lady wanted to get elected, and she knew that I had a lot of influence in that high rise. She came to me. I said, "I'm not going to support you." Mm -hmm. She came over there with some food. And you supported her? Uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And she said, "If I want to get him, Thrasher." I can get them through that little food. Yeah. And and I said, that's the way all elder people think. That's the way we think. And the sad part about it, that white boy knows it now. And why? Because he used all of our leaders and set exactly. them down at the table, and now they spilt their beans. That's what Farrakhan said. <laughs> so they infiltrated us in a nice way. All right. Well, well, you know, I'm so honored. Let me just say this. When we look at the condition of our people and... Uh, the brother really spoke genius when he said backdoor meetings. Right, this right, is what right. we have here. Yeah. Right. And not only no. the, 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 the backdoor meeting is, and I say we can, because what we're experiencing, our people have not, for y'all's sake, we got to give more power to the people. <laughs> See, you give power to, how do you give power to the people? By letting them voice mm -hmm. their opinion. See, the spirit of the Most High was made where in the presbytery, like you have eloquent speakers like this brother here and yourselves, they control the people through their eloquence. Mm -hmm. But the creator changed the priesthood and made it where everybody had the spirit. That's right. Now what we see though is the vestiges of the leadership continuing to try to control under the old oligarchy presbytery leadership. Now the power comes 
when we're going to do what we're going to do on August 31st, our church is going to go to North Deshaun Park. And we're going to have an open presentation where you, you, and anybody else can come and speak life into our community. Not right. We're right. not going to hey, run you out of there. It's for everybody. See, that's been the issue. The reason in the churches that you have one man sitting up front mm -hmm. and everybody sitting in the back was symbolizing the altar of uh, where the creator set his spirit and there was a veil behind it and the priest had to go and go behind that veil. When the priesthood was changed, the veil was rent. It was torn. So where now we have the priesthood that sat on their podium no longer was that supposed to be. Because, see, there is no big me, no little you. Right. We're all one. Right. So in the assemblies, they still manifest the old mosaic idea by having a man stand up and so-called teach everybody else mm -hmm. like nobody has the spirit but him, right, right, yeah. but it's a new change in town, and that perspective is out the window, and we have a new way of looking at things. Okay, okay. I want to say thank you to the caller, first of all, because that was Absolutely. a good question. Uh, my response to the why we don't organize more backdoor meetings is mm -hmm. the, the biggest challenge to doing something like that. Oh, yeah, and that's August 31st. August, August 31st, 31st where? where? At North Deshaun Park, August 31st, North Deshaun Park. Come out there. All Come day. out, support. Okay, about these backdoor meetings. The biggest, the biggest problem with that and the big, biggest issue in, in – executing something like that is infiltration you have to be able to spot the people that's not really there for and the cause and as we all know snakes can be real slimy sometimes mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. but i'm not gonna say that it's not possible because I believe anything is possible. Oh, man. Not because it's, obama said it it's <laughs> because right. my father said it <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh, uh, but it would be really challenging but if you if you're able to keep out the weak links, the ones that are so easily guided by money, mm -hmm. then you have a more of a successful chance of pulling something off like that. But that's gonna be you can't. Do that's it. gonna let be me, hard to do. Let you me jump. In, let me jump in here because what's gonna happen? And, and you brothers and sisters that are real biblical and scriptural will mm -hmm. feel this. Mm -hmm. That Moses had to walk through when the children of Israel started complaining. They had to walk through the wilderness. Well, like 30 more years or something? <laughs> 40 to, years. 40 totally. years to them old heads die off. Right, 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 right. And that's what, unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. These young boys, see what, 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 what happened in them. With all due respect to Doc, the reason that, you know, a lot of our older generation feel like we can't. Right. And a lot of us feel like we can't. And, oh, man, please, with, with all due respect, I never disrespect my elders. No, it's no, go because ahead. we've become saturated with our desires. Right. Y'all become, you've been given a little something. Mm. Angela Davis, Bobby mm. says, I've been given. Right. These young brothers with their pants hanging and then let their hairs lock, mm. and a lot of them smell like a pound of marijuana. Mm. And mm. They've given up on society. Exactly. They don't right. see society right. offering them anything. Exactly. So once these older people die off, that's trying to teach them complacent and to do this, these Jesses, these Al Sharptons, mm -hmm. once they wander through this wilderness for 40 years, these younger brothers, if I don't step up, we step up and start training these younger brothers because these are going to be the people that circle Jericho. Right. right. Mm -hmm. and shout to the walls crumble down. That's right. It's a whole new formation coming up. Mm -hmm. We get, a lot of times, we get into wanting to safeguard mm -hmm. what's familiar with us, mm -hmm. our, the way that we live. We, we hate to see change. I'm an older head. Right. I'm 42. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things these young brothers are doing, just talking to them, mm -hmm. Some of the things they doing on first dates with sisters, I was like, boy, I didn't find that out until I was married. Hello? Right. <laughs> exactly. You mean you just met her in the club and it went down like that? <laughs> microwave generation. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, oh, microwave yeah. generation. Yeah. Microwave hey. goes across generation. the board, baby. So we have to teach them. So their whole thing is they're not going to be compliant. They're, something's going to change for them. Whether it's penitentiary mm -hmm. or society changing, mm -hmm. whether it's mass murder, mm -hmm. genocide, mm -hmm. or society changing, because it's a whole new generation. That's one thing I want to say, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to turn brief. Mm -hmm. Secondly, so I, that's why I do believe a change will come. Okay. If we step up, men not way, stop being like the dinosaurs and trying to and cavemen mm -hmm. and not be revolutionaries, which is evolutionary, mm -hmm. right, and evolving with the people. Right. Exactly. Secondly, I want to say about the Nation Islam book right here, man. Y'all cop the book. Mm -hmm. Amos Wilson, brother's not plugging me for this, not paying mm -hmm. me for this book. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Black yeah. power, a moral, political, economic imperative for the 21st century, very deep. Mm -hmm. And he goes into it and he talks about the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. And he says that the Nation of Islam, under their economic plan, was the most vibrant 
successful mm -hmm. economic plan mm -hmm. that the black nationalists or the black community has seen. Mm -hmm. What was one of the falls of this? Black people got a messiah complex. Mm. We always want some charismatic leader. We right. want somebody to save right. us. Mm. Right. So when they found out, guess what? Oh, he's a man, and he put his places, his thing, and something he wasn't married to and had children, mm. it destroyed their whole nation. Right. right. Why? Because you right. got to worship in a man. Right. Exactly. Right. Stop exactly. worshiping him a man. Exactly. You're right. He's a man. You're right. You know what? Elijah, right. you know you messed up, brother, You're but right. the plan you have right. is brilliant. That's right. right. And so we crumbled Teach. along with Teach. the whole concept of worship, man. One thing I will mm -hmm. give about mm -hmm. my Hebrew is like brothers, they don't they be like, yo, you know, I'm the most high this and that. Mm -hmm. They don't get I'm into that man worship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, when you give all that power to a man, mm -hmm. every man that then had leadership, every organization that then been on the leadership of Chrisma, mm -hmm. the leadership of one man leadership has met us to my father divine, mm -hmm. Noble Drew Ali, mm -hmm. Elijah Muhammad, mm -hmm. Brother Farrakhan, your nation, mm -hmm. when you fall, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anybody. Right. It's based on one man leadership. Exactly. It's about the plan, the objective, and mm -hmm. the goal. Mm -hmm. Doc, you agree with me? <laughs> I do. A lot of things no, you no, say. No, I no, agree. no, 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 no. You agree with me when I said we can't? Because yeah. what did you do? You came back and used the same theory and the philosophy and the same idea that God used when He discovered when He went up on Moses, went up on the mountain, and He received the laws. Mm -hmm. And when He came back down. They, they were the Israelites were down a horn and they were doing everything. <laughs> orgy. I mean, they were orgy, orgy. everything. I mean, they done built them another God. That's yeah, yeah. right. What did he do? He told us he said, Listen, kill those amongst No, he did not. No, he did he not. He didn't say that. I'm a, oh, no, let him finish. Let him finish. Let somebody get the Bible. I can't him finish. He said, all oh, that's no. Let him finish. Let him finish. Wait, wait. Go ahead. Well, don't ask the question if you don't want to ask. I'm, Okay, go ahead. Let him finish. Let him finish. Nothing is more harder than working with colorful people. What God did, he round them up, and he carried them in a circle for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And his purpose was that the old heads die out, That's right. and a new will come in, That's right. and they will recognize who's God. Mm -hmm. So what you said, I said that you couldn't, I'm talking about now. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about mm -hmm. now. We tried and failed because greed was involved. Mm -hmm. The big eye had taken over, mm -hmm. and once the big eye takes over, then that got that. Brother, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. I don't think y'all failed. And I'm going to get a lot of my partners. Let me tell you why yeah. I don't think that y'all failed. I just think that I don't think, like me, I'm, I'm not a big When Dr. you say, they, let's be specific. What are you saying? The civil rights agenda? Yeah, civil what rights are you agenda. saying didn't, didn't fail? fail? Civil rights agenda. Because but one you thing, succeeded on one end and you, you lost out it and you put exactly. your people right I, back in the same old spot. Right. I don't think that we lose. Well, I think we fair. learn. One of the things, let me tell you something, had it not been for the civil rights, you still have Negroes on about, let's try civil rights. Then we tried it, we know it doesn't work. Okay. I, I would never take for granted the rights that some of those brothers and sisters did to get us to this point, to point the fact right. that I'm on here yeah. with the Black Panther button right. or right. Comcast, right. how about white and down with the system <laughs> and all this other stuff. <laughs> I, I wouldn't take that from my ancestors. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I they did pave the way. They paved, they the, paved way. the way for that. Now it's up to us. We can sit here and be what I call armchair revolutionaries. Right. Get the history books and condemn everybody in the damn history book. Right. Like my part, one of my personal partners I love in the West End is Baba Mukasa Ricks. Mm -hmm. I think they call him Willie Ricks. Yeah, I love Baba Mukasa Baba Ricks. Mukasa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can sit here and condemn everything Soldier. Baba did Straight up. at that time. But I am a revolutionary, a student mm -hmm. of knowledge, so I thank the brothers for their contributions. Mm -hmm. And then I get my soldiers in that time saying, mm -hmm. where are we going to take the, the torch? Five minutes, so I'm just going to take me a minute to say this. Mm -hmm. Microwave age, people. Mm -hmm. Vietnam mm -hmm. was won by what? A protracted struggle. It, we right. have to Vietnam was not won. Or oh, Vietnam was making no, let me right. tell you, they ran French up out there and America's ass up out there. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That and one of the things the that Vietnamese they won. The Vietnamese, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No. So but one of one of the things though no. is called protracted struggle. Exactly. We have to we have to stop thinking that we're gonna see the victory. Mm -hmm. My son, Amaru, true, and the men, I feel right, the right, right, right. I have to take them and raise them to be a freedom loving people. Mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. take them and raise them to hate oppression. Mm -hmm. To right. shake off the shackles of oppression wherever you find it. Mm -hmm. To aid and assist your brother. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That has to become a cultural norm. Like right. my grandmama, you, it used to be when I was coming up, it, my grandmother used to tell me, look, you had to work twice as hard as stuff because you black. I mean, mm -hmm. it just was right. certain ways we was embedded. Right. Mm -hmm. And we have to get back to that. Get away from this 
My manhood is defined by what kind of car I drive, how much my sneakers cost. How many women you got. How many women I got. Yeah. And even you brothers that don't know all this, I got this fool boo, Sean John. Stop that convert, that uh, that that undercover homosexuality. If you kill a brother because you don't have, because you, uh, you got another man's name on your shirt. Uh, you know, so let me wrap it up, brothers, and pass off. You're on the roll, you're on the roll. <laughs> Four minutes, can anybody give a last closing comment in a minute? Let me say this to you. Vietnam, America didn't win it, and the Vietnamese didn't win it. Listen carefully. Not. I didn't say America won it. I didn't say that. I said didn't nobody win, win it. What, right. what, 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 uh, what's his name? Um, Nixon went in. He said, do you want me to stop the war? What he did was, listen. Doc, we got one minute. Everybody I'm going to make that Can minute. we get him back on the show next week? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can yeah, we get him got a lot of I'll take it up next week. I'll take it up next week. I'll take it up next week. Because I love having Doc on it. Okay, again, uh, Hey, hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. yeah, you got like seconds. How can we help you, brother? Uh, I'm gonna write the brother's number from Cleveland. My number. Yeah, yeah. The phone, the guy from Cleveland. I like to I like your number. I like to meet with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love to meet with you. If we can get your number off the air, yeah. cause I don't want to throw it out there. I got a lot of y'all female. Hey. Love <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't hey, know how to explain that. that. Hey, appreciate you, my brother. Hey, I just want to give <laughs> condolences and prayers out to the family of Mike Brown. They're gonna be burying him tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Made a protest yeah. in Thanks. Ferguson. Stay peaceful. Right. Stay out of jail. Mm -hmm. Please stay alive. Hands up. Yeah, don't yeah. shoot. Don't shoot. Hands up. And don't if they try shoot. to shoot, don't take don't their gun. Yeah. <laughs> take his gun and wrap his gun around his neck. Look that devil in his cold blue eye. Yeah, that's it. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man, thanks for tuning in. Same time, same place. Listen, yeah. the Arena 2013, YouTube, check us out. That's all one word. Don't fall for the hype. YouTube, we try to hurt us. The Arena 2013, no spaces in between. I'm your man, Yanga and Krumah, coming again with our beautiful elder brother, mm -hmm. Gideon. Mm -hmm. Thank Doc Thrasher for yes, coming right. on, taking his time, spending with us. Yes, We're going to hold him to that commitment next week. Yes, and sir. my dude, my co-host, always keeping it live with That's me, right. my man, Vince Cheeks. Yes, Cheeks, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Hey, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Join us in the Arena. You already know how it go down, down, baby. Down. Yeah. Hey, remember, the struggle is real. That's right. Their struggle is our struggle. That's hey, we're going to do this thing together. Peace All right. and love. Peace. Peace and love. Peace. We need like some closing music, man. Now, let me touch the hem of your comment, boss. He's uh, on five, no, yeah. No, not, not too close you to the pocket. You're going to go real. <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't want to be a good joke. I don't want to go too quick. I'm going to step my clock like And we got and black sun gonna be and it, I'm glad because it ain't gonna be his mouth. It's peace, be peace and love. Peace. Peace. No free, free Palestine. Get your.